two by two and already jockeying for position as they get ready for the right hander turn number one here they come into the corner aj allmendinger first there his teammate justin haley darts to the inside three wide further back everybody trying to get their footing coming into the corner it's justin haley now that will grab the lead over aj allmendinger who slipped in turn number two now they're side by side for second here's austin Cindric, aj allmendinger wheel to wheel as justin haley begins to pull away out of turn six haley driving away as the field tries to run side by side through that kink that is five and six. Oh, we got cars contact back there between several cars cars going around oh seven the 36 car rest of the field barrels down into turn seven I get it running got a lot of guys here in turn seven having to come to a stop because they missed the corner through eight, nine, and ten, everybody makes it through, Jeff. Yeah, they're headed this way. You see the 90 car. He has stopped on a racetrack. Preston Partis. They're sailing right now for the 11. Austin Cindric. Here's Ty Gibbs taking a fight to Amendinger. Amendinger off track. Got to get himself back on. Wrecking himself back into the racetrack. Cars is flying by him, though. So uncharacteristic of AJ Amendinger two corners that he missed on the first lap of the race yeah it started at turn one as we now see yellow on the racetrack turn one lap one aj almondinger misses the corner loses the lead to justin haley this is the reason for the caution we have partis unfortunate for the 90 preston partis had a great qualifying ever look at brandon jones huge damage to the front splitter of that car and it Looks like the right rear quarter panel. Obviously, heavy contact for the 19. What a chaotic first lap. So let's take a look at this. Coming, oh, there's Kevin Harvick as well with a little bit of damage. This is through the kink of five and six. Look back behind the lead cars. Somebody catches a little air. The 19 and the 90. Oh, that looks like, that looks like Harrison Burton gets up in the air. Everybody behind him, oh, they're all jumping that curb. Goodness gracious. There, see that orange curb? It's on the outside edge of that exit of turn six. And it is extremely aggressive, apparently. And a lot of these guys destroyed their race cars jumping across that. So when you're going through turn five and six, it's a full throttle corner. It's a kink. But you cannot see the curbs when you're following other cars through there. Those guys had no idea what they what they were approaching to when they ran wide and here is later in the later in the lap the 16 missing the corner again just easy to do here jeff yeah it really is just battling ty gibbs trying to carry a little bit too much speed on the outside but this is amazing to me that all of these cars all these drivers hit this curb it just you know it it makes me wonder what, su what surprised them. Like, see, Noah Gregson, he was right there. You didn't see his car move like that. It's really odd looking. That these cars, they had practice yesterday, and it's multiple ones that are hitting that curb. It's even back behind, they're still hitting it. And, and Steve, that's a curb that I know that between IndyCar and NASCAR, they had talked about making some changes as far as the turtles, putting the turtles out there on the track. Yeah, you so you see, you see how far on the outside of this curve see the blue and white curb is the exit of turn six now the cars are allowed to go wide of that for sure but this red curb right here in the screen uh, i don't believe they were actually getting that far out and apparently some of these cars a little bit lower than others in that particular part of the racetrack it just attacked that curb the wrong way it caught them NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.